Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a diaper changing table tour. So if you're interested, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. When I was pregnant, I watched a lot of YouTube videos um, from other moms and um, I found it very helpful to get a lot of I different ideas about products that I should buy for my baby, about things that I thought would um, you know, be useful in my motherhood journey. Um, and so I thought that I would share with you guys some of the things that I'm using at my changing station so that it will help some of you guys who are currently pregnant and expecting babies pretty soon. Or if you have a newborn just like me, you can go out and get some of these things. I will leave all of the links for these products in the description box below. All right. So I'll go ahead and start off at the bottom shelf of the changing table um, and first off this is actually a changing table that I received off Amazon like I said earlier I'll leave all the links in the description box below um, first off I have um, a bunch of samples from Huggies I actually got these for free from a bunch of companies in my registry boxes if you haven't watched those videos I will leave links to those in the description box below and also in the icon above so I have these I actually also got some free diapers from Millie Moon this is is the brand from Target I believe so I just have those sitting here and obviously you can see behind there I have a big box of Huggies diapers size one that I'll be using up pretty soon um, so these are the diapers that I actually really like for my son and these are going to be the Pampers Swaddler. So I have um, a box of newborn that I'm currently running through and then also I have a box of size three that obviously once he gets bigger, he'll be using those. Um, also over here, just have a pack of Huggies size one. Um, and so I just am storing all of my extra diapers on the bottom table. We also have a bunch of things on the second shelf. So uh, the first thing that I will mention is this little a bucket here. I've um, got these baskets, buckets, whatever you want to call them, from the Dollar Tree. So you definitely don't have to spend a lot of money on um, storage bins. So I got these from the Dollar Tree, and as you can see, they are filled with the pop-up packets of wipes. Um, these are actually the ones that I am a big fan of, and these are the ones that we're using. These are the Pampers Expression Wipes. They actually smell so good. I know a lot of people opt to um, have wipes that don't have a scent um, and wipes that are strictly water wipes and I definitely understand because baby skin can be very sensitive but at the same time um, I've been using this on my um, son and he's two months old and he hasn't had any issues um, with it no diaper rashes no skin rashes or anything of that nature so if you are looking for a scented wipe that's actually gentle in your, in your son or daughter's skin then I would definitely recommend these so um, I just have all of these wipes in here and I just refill them with the box in the back so as you can see back here, I just have a refill box um, full of some more wipes. Um, the next thing that I'm going to mention um, over here is actually going to be these diaper disposal bags. Um, I actually use these for whenever my son has a bowel movement. It definitely keeps the scent down in our home. We also have a diaper genie, but I still use these first and then I put them in the diaper genie and we haven't had any issues with any bad scents around our house. Um, so the next thing here that you can see is actually going to be this wipe warmer um i know the jury's out on whether people feel like a wipe warmer, warmer is necessary or not to be honest with me it's definitely come in handy whenever i'm using the changing table this one works well i haven't tried out any other brands but i definitely like this one it keeps the wipes extremely moist it keeps them super warm um i also have here uh things that my baby uses for his bath time and that would be the avino baby calming comfort lotion this one does have a lavender scent but it also has natural oatmeal in it and I think that it's super gentle on my son's skin. He hasn't had any issues using it, like I said, for two months. Um, so I have that lotion that I use on him for bath time. And then I also have the Daily Moisture Wash and Shampoo. That one also has um, the um, sensitivity, you know, good enough for your skin. You can use it in their hair, use it on their skin, and it actually um, gets the job done. So also back here, we actually have um, extra bags for the diaper genie. Um, not everybody likes the diaper genie, not everybody likes the diaper pail, but it definitely works for us. And we haven't had any issues, like I said earlier, with any poop smells. Um, so what else do we have here on the second shelf? So um, I have a little bin. I actually got these bins also from the Dollar Tree. These definitely come in handy 
because you could buy so many at a time and not spend a lot of money. So in here, I have just a bunch of washcloths for bath time for my baby, but also I have some toys here just in case I'm ever changing his diaper and he gets bored. You know, this is just something to keep him entertained, you know, while I'm changing his diaper. So those just kind of sit there. Um, in the next bin, I just have a bunch of samples, of course, that I got from a lot of those companies. So um, in here, I have not put a dent in these things yet, but you're going to see um, just, you know, some samples from the Noodle & Boo company. These are all things that can be used up over time. Um, I have some samples of gripe water. You got some boogie wipes. I also have all of those drafts that I receive in the Pampers sample pack. And um, yeah, so I just keep those here for whenever I need to grab it if I'm going to use those. Um, the next thing that I have is going to be a little bucket of these um, changing pads. So I actually put these on top of the actual uh, silicone changing pad that I have at the top of the diaper table. Um, this keeps, you know, um, it comfortable and obviously, you know, not as cold for my baby whenever I'm changing him um, at the changing station. These are actually by the company Munchkin and I definitely highly recommend them because you can just throw them in the wash. They come completely clean. So I would say that they wash well um, and they're actually very soft. So I think that it's great on his skin. Um, this bucket over here um, I use pretty frequently and that would be for uh, just a bunch of diapers so at the changing table there's a bucket at the top that I'll show you guys in a second but I just keep a bunch of diapers in here and just keep refilling it so I don't have to go inside of a box to grab diapers whenever I'm changing my son and there's no more diapers at the top um, I have some things in the back um, for what I want to hang on the wall that I haven't hung yet but outside of that also got some towels back here that's also for bath time so even though these all these things are not for um, changing your baby's diaper is definitely just a great storage area to have things neat and organized at all times. Um, in the back behind this little bucket, um, you can see just a pack of uh, diapers. So these are also the pamper swaddlers and um, I keep these back here because like I said, my son is actually using these up currently. He can still fit a newborn diaper. So we're using all of those up. Those are the ones that the hospital gave. And that would be it for the second shelf. So let me show you guys what I have all the way at the top. So this is the changing table and um, I mentioned this changing pad in my baby essentials video. This one is actually a really good material. You can tell it's very durable and it's super easy to clean. Of course, this is the changing um, little cloth that I told you I bought to make sure that it's really soft when I'm changing my baby so that he's actually not uncomfortable or cold. Um, at the type of top of the changing table here, you're going to see that I just have a little tray of diapers um, just for easy reach whenever I am changing my baby. So I keep that there. Um, the next thing that I have here is just an, another tray, but this is going to be the Desitin diaper cream. Um, so I have that there. I also keep Aquaphor here anytime I need to put some on his skin when I'm changing his diaper. Uh, the next thing that I have is actually going to be this little um, diaper cream wand. This is so convenient so that you don't make a crazy mess using diaper cream. Um, the next thing is actually going to be um, some of this Bedrews butt paste. I haven't had to dip into this yet because this is actually not my favorite. I hate the smell of it, but this was gifted to me by a company. So, hey, free is free. And um, also up here, I haven't had to use this yet, so it's brand new, but I just keep it here as a just in case because this will probably be the best place to use it. Um, and this is actually going to be the Frida Baby Windy. And last but not least up here, um, just in case my a baby is using a pacifier at the time, I just keep these Munchkin pacifier wipes here just in case I need to wipe off its pacifier while we're there. And um, that would be it for the changing table. So that wraps up the tour. I found that having a changing table is a very convenient way to change my baby. And I also love that this changing table sh also serves as a um, storage space to keep things definitely nice and clean and neat. Um, with that being said, uh, let me know in the comment section below what if you have a diaper changing table, if you like it, if you dislike it, some things that you have on yours that I don't have on mine. And also, if you love this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.